Destiny has become a household name for Speedy also plays. Speed has a skin in general, and he's been pushing the limits of what people thought was possible in terms of raw speed for quite a while now. While his recent plays and skill are mostly known by the community, today I will be delving into his history to find out how he started playing the game, how he acquired the speed he has, and hopefully create a timeline of his time on Osu. It was the beginning of 2012 and Zestny had just begun his first year of high school when he saw one of his friends play a weird game on his phone. It was called Osu Droid and as soon as Zestny saw it he was interested in playing himself. He signed up under the name Bihojang and started playing, quickly progressing and getting good on it. He kept playing Osu Droid all the way up until the end of May and he found out that the game was also on PC and registered there under the same username. He was already pretty well off learning the basics of the game from Osu Droid, but he felt like Osu Droid helped him by giving him better humor control, which meant that he had a head start above everyone else who started playing the game then and didn't know how to play it. In 2013 he started farming and even though most of his old top plays are lost by time, I found some on the way back machine and you can see that even back then he was farming speed maps and doing well on them as well as the usual TV size insane maps. The replay that you see in the background is actually from 2015 so you can see he was fast even back then on these 255 BPM streams. He spent most of 2013 and 2014 farming reaching top 400 before losing motivation to climb further. After he played for fun, going for number 1 scores on maps, setting speedy scores and enjoying the game all the way up until 2016 when he joined the military where he would serve until 2018. For all the time Zestiny has spent on Osu, he never really considered himself to be really fast, just someone who played a lot of DT maps. However, in July of 2018, only 5 months after coming back from military, he set a score on Rotor Termination with DT. You can see the replay in the background and at the time, Zestny was the only person to see this map with DT at the time and it was only beaten by Septin in late 2018. So it was completely understandable that after this play Zestny felt like he was faster than the majority of other players, if not all of them. He would go on to set impressive DT plays that went mostly unnoticed. But after setting the only A rank on ROG limitation, not to be confused with RG unlimitation, and showing it off on Discord, people score posted his play and he began getting traction. And of course a few people were accusing him of cheats, but Zestny was quick to brush the accusations off with one of the best live plays I've ever seen. His live play was good quality, straight to the point, showcased his speed perfectly and quickly after the hacking accusation stopped. People were baffled by the raw speed that he was able to showcase and he is considered by the community to be one of the fastest and maybe the fastest player that has ever played Osu. He says that ever since he started playing Osu he couldn't stream under 220 BPM. Before he went to the military his most comfortable BPM was from 240 to 260 and nowadays it's about 270 to 300 BPM. Most people in the world will never reach these speeds and Zestiny can reach them with ease. I asked Zestiny what his thoughts were on speed and if anyone can accomplish them and he said the three key things for getting good at speed is natural talent, the keyboard you use and practice. He noted that natural talent is one of the most important things if you want to be really fast, but the keyboard also matters as he believes that everyone should find the keyboard that suits them the most and of course you need to practice a lot. He believes that anyone with the right amount of practice and the right equipment can stream up to 220 BPM and burst around to 70 BPM, but that for the higher BPMs you need a little bit of talent. As for the future, Zestny's only wish is to keep improving and getting faster, and that one day the Osu community will remember him as the fastest person ever on Osu. Osu has been one of the only games that he stick to for years, and hopefully we get to see his amazing scores for many more years and that his dream comes true. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed my content be sure to subscribe as I got more similar content on the way.